find that, man. Could you give me the uh, information on uh, which family owned which brand? Okay. Mr. Nelson, see, this is what Mr. Nelson does. See, in the old days when Brother Greg was alive, I would provide Dick Gregory with the information. It would come from him, and you guys had no idea I was the one providing information. Brother Greg is gone. And what called there was put me on the spot one day during a radio show and goes, hey, didn't you talk about five families who owned the, all the military? And I remind the listeners, I don't use the term military because that's a condescending term used by folks who actually hate us in uniform. Things have changed. And what my, what my response was to Mr. Nelson in a recent show was, because of all the deregulation under Reagan, you don't even know who owns what anymore. Their name might be on it, but you don't even know. But back in the 90s, the Army was owned by the DuPont family. The Navy was owned by the Rockefeller family. The Marine Corps was owned by the Morgan family. The Air Force was owned by the Mellon family. And the Coast Guard was owned by the Giannini family. And if you don't know who the Giannini family is, that's Bank of America. Because it's not Bank of America. It's Bank of the Italia America. Giannini was Italian. Okay, I, I wrote it down, man. I wrote it down, bro. I appreciate that's what I needed. I was trying to find that all over on, on the internet. Brother, I'm sorry to tell you this, but much of what I share with you all, you're not going to find. And I'm going to tell you this, and this is serious. Mr. Nelson, there's a serious sanitizing going on on the internet because information that I used to be able to find, I can't find anymore. 